first we're gonna head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're gonna head over to manage settings right here. Once you're on this, you can turn off real-time protection and you can also turn off cloud delivered protection. This is for temporarily. I'm not gonna do it, but you guys can do it if you want to. For so to turn it off permanently, we're gonna head over to search and type in run, click on it. Then we're gonna type in reg edit and click on enter. Once you get this, we're gonna click on yes. Once you're on this, you can follow along with everything that I click on, it will say it up here. So first, we're gonna head over to HK local machine. And then we're gonna head over to software. We're gonna expand software. Then we're gonna scroll down to policies. We're gonna expand policies. And then expand Microsoft. Then we're gonna right click on Windows Defender and then click on new. And then you wanna click on DWORD 32-bit value. Even if you're using 64-bit computer, just click on DWORD 32-bit value. Once this pops up right here, we're gonna right click on it and then click on rename. Then we're gonna type in disable anti-spyware and click on enter. Once you do that, we're gonna double click on it and then we're gonna change the value data to one and click on okay. And then just restart your computer and it will be disabled permanently.